everyone. I'm going to do a short lesson on fractions on a number line. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and back up. Okay, so by looking at this chart, this is a great visual for the breakdown of different fractions. So we might find fractions on everyday items, such as maybe a stick of butter. This has different fractions, such as it shows um, a fourth of a cup, a third of a cup, and then obviously the whole stick of butter would represent half of a cup. Maybe you are making, um, maybe you're cooking or baking something and you need to measure out how many cups of milk or how many cups of flour and so on. Also, you will see fractions on tools such as socket sets or wrenches um, and so on. Fractions are in our daily lives and they will be throughout our entire lifetime. So it's important that we know our fractions and we can understand what they mean. So it starts off with one. So this is one whole, right? The whole section is filled. Okay, I'm going to, on the side, show you what it would look like if I had maybe a pizza or a pie. So it would represent one whole pizza, okay? Let's look at the second one. This is one over two. Otherwise our numerator, right, is on top and our denominator is on the bottom. And this is showing us there's two parts total. As you can see, there's two red rectangles side by side. So there's two parts. And if we were to focus on one of them, we would have one out of two. So for instance, on our pizza, if I was to cut it into two equal parts and I ate half of it, I would only have one out of two left. Okay. Oh, and just to backtrack, any number, looking at the one, any number out of, um, over itself, like in a fraction, so maybe six over six, that would be equal to one. So for instance, if this pizza maybe had a total of six pizza pieces and we ate the whole thing, it's equal to one. So any fraction with the same numerator and denominator, that's equal to one. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's look at one third. All right, so in this line, you can see that we have three parts. We have one, two, three orange pieces. And if we were to focus on one, we would have one out of three and so forth. Um, it keeps going down the line here, like one fourth, one fifth, one sixth, one eighth, one tenth, and one twelfth. Now, this can get larger, this isn't, the limit. This is just um, some of the most um, common examples of fractions being broken down. So as you go down the list, our denominator gets larger. And as we go down the list, our pieces also get smaller. So not only do does our denominator increase, but our pieces get smaller. Oops, sorry. Or our parts get smaller. So for instance, if we went all the way down to 1 12th, that's like, let's go over here. That's like having a, a pizza and we split it in, into 12 equal chunks. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, and let's go 12. And I know that they're not perfect, but pretend we have 12 pieces of pizza, right? That would represent our denominator. And if I was to eat one slice of that, okay, wow, that's like a sliver compared to one half. 
So the, the bigger the denominator, the more parts. So if you only have one out of 12 pieces of pizza, that is very small compared to one out of two of the same size pizza. All right, so that's one tricky thing um, that I want you to memorize. As your denominator increases in your fractions, the parts get smaller or the size of the fraction gets smaller, I should say. All right. So let's go ahead and look at some examples. Okay, so here we have two different number lines. Let's focus on the first one. Let's find our denominator. Remember our denominator shows us the total number of um, hash marks or parts that we have in a number line. So. If you wanted to visualize it like this, maybe our rectangles again, kind of in our chart. Okay, at this hash mark, we have a break. Okay, so this would represent one piece and this would represent another. So we can count how the distance between our hash marks. So we have one jump here and one jump here. So we have a total of two hash marks between each whole number from zero to one. That is what we're focusing on. So these hash marks indicate um, the number of jumps to get between every whole number. So we have a denominator of two in this instance as there are two hash marks from whole number to whole number. Okay, so let's clear this. So if I have a denominator of two and I needed to figure out what this hash mark stood for, well, it's between our two whole numbers and I know that it's the denominator of two. All right, so how do I find my numerator, my top number? Not the total that we of parts we have in all, I need to figure out what just, or what this hash mark stands for. So from zero, our starting point, this hash mark to our first hash mark. Oh, I only moved one hash mark. So this would represent one half or one over two. That is our fraction. Okay, let's keep practicing. Okay, so, from our whole numbers, remember, we're going to count the number of hash marks. So we have one, then we have two, and finally three. We can't stop here at the two. We wouldn't be at our whole number. We need to keep going until we reach the next whole number, whatever that might be. So we have, we traveled one, two, three hash marks. So my denominator would be three for these fractions. All right, so let's go ahead and try to name these fractions. I'm going to go ahead and write three as our denominator and then all I have to do is plug in my numerator. All right, so remember our numerator um, represents the total number of hash marks that we have traveled in the distance. So from zero to one, our first hash mark, well, we've gone one this length of distance, right? We've traveled one hash mark. And then let's try to figure out what this fraction would be. Try to figure it out on your own. Starting from zero, you don't start from your last fraction. Okay, it's not one third. If you traveled all the way back from zero, you recounted one. Okay, so this is two hash marks from our last whole number. And then finally, if you were to travel this, what would this fraction be? 
you've traveled one, two, three. So you've traveled three thirds or one. Any number, remember any number over itself equals one. Even 109 over 109 is equal to one or six over six is equal to one. Oops. Let me show you what it looks like in pizza form. So maybe I made a pizza. Zero would represent no pieces left. Okay, here's my pizza again. And we have a total of, oops, I forgot to put them at the pieces. There, one third would represent one shaded part out of three. If I had two thirds of my pizza left, I would have two parts shaded out of three. And then finally, if I had three out of three parts shaded in my pizza, my whole pizza would exist. I would have three parts out of three. So hopefully this gave you a little insight as to how to find the numerator and denominator um, of your fractions on a number line. Okay. All right. I will add some more videos here as we go. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.